Hello, welcome to the V berth. This is the forwardmost um, room on the boat, and this is our guest room. So uh, we have room here for two people to sleep, two bunks. Uh, there's also a little um, cushion that can be placed in here to fill the, fill the space so that it turns it into a nice big bed. Um, we have lots of storage in this room. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few, um, lots of cabinets here. Due to all the storage that we have, we've been lucky that we we're able to leave a few empty so that when we have guests, they have a place to put their stuff. Um, but boy, the other cabinets are full of things. So over here, we've got one that's got all kinds of spare parts. And then down below, actually, right here is where we keep extra paper towels and our deck chairs and a little uh, camp table that, that we use. And this is stuffed to the brim with sails. Hello and welcome to the bunk room. This is our other guest cabin. And you'll notice it's quite comfortable for one person to sit. They can read and just relax in here. And it's also pretty good for two if you lower the bunk like that. Now, you might have noticed these little clips right here. So those are for attaching lee cloths, and we have them for both the top and the bottom bunk. So when we're offshore and the boat is healing from one direction to another, the lee cloths hold you in place. And this is also where we store our weights. We use these on Monday, Wednesday, Friday for our circuit training. And we also have some nice cabinets here, which we try to leave open for guests, but we do have a little bit of storage like backpacks and heaters and stuff in there. But generally, it's pretty comfortable for a couple people. And of course, when we don't have guests, we use this space for in storing important items like the guitar and spare parts that gets shipped in periodically. Now, if you are a guest on our boat and you need to use the facility, you just simply step across the hall, admiring our wall of friends on the way. <laughs> and step into the forward head. This is our guest bathroom. This one happens to be electric. So when you're ready to flush, you just simply press this button here. And that's all there is to it. They call this the quiet flush. We don't think of it as all that quiet, but it does work extremely well. This valve here is for the holding tank. So you'll notice right now it's in the closed position. When we go offshore, we move it to open, and that empties the, the black water and also allows um, you to use it pretty much as much as you want. Over here we have the first aid cabinet, still in the process of stocking up all the first aid equipment that we need, but we're pretty well stocked at this point. And then stepping back just a little bit, we come to the guest shower. So here is where you'll be showering if you're a guest on our boat, we have the nice shampoos and conditioners for you as well. And when the time comes, you can do your laundry right in here. This is our laundry machine. And we simply open it up, load it with our dirty clothes, and start the machine. So moving back from the forward berths, we have our main living area, the main salon. Um, we we spend most of our time here when we're when we're down below um, relaxing. So these are our two favorite chairs where we sit and have our coffee every morning. Um, and just to give you an example of the storage on the boat, under these chairs, which can tip forward is more uh, spots for putting stuff. So we've got down there duffel bags and some spare parts and backpacks. Back here is where we keep all of the owner's manuals for all of the different systems and various things that we have on the boat that need a, need a owner's manual. Uh, we also have here just an assortment of snacks, cookbooks. This is where we keep all of our games. We play lots of cards when we're on the boat. A 
And then over here we have our kind of our couch and our, our main table. So this table um, folds up. We want it to be bigger. And that side comes up as well. Um, we have, have a TV so that we can watch TV. Uh, we've been enjoying March Madness this week. And over here we feature Pet Corner. So uh, on the pillow is a picture of of the original Archie the Beagle and um, great inspiration for the name of our boat and he is living with grandma and grandpa right now it was a little too old to live on a boat but um, we have Archie too instead who is very huggable <laughs> and a few other pets if we need extra if we're feeling a little bit lonely so over here we have um, more room for storage behind each cushion we've got got uh, shelves for lots of stuff um, also these come up and so we've got coolers and bags and all kinds of jazz down there and uh, all the all of these come up for more storage lots of books cruising guides and tea and all kinds of things back there so uh, this this couch can actually serve as a as a a, a bed. Um, it wouldn't normally be used as a bed, but when you're out at sea, if uh, the boat is rocking, this is the most central spot in the boat. So this can actually be a pretty comfortable place to get some rest. And um, using these little little ties up here, you can you can tie a another lee cloth, which is a, a uh, fabric that comes up and can kind of hold you in place so that you don't roll off the couch. All right, so this is our small galley. Uh, we have a, a stove here, which these little these little knobs actually let let it let it gimbal so that if the if the boat is moving, uh, your pot will stay on the stove and not spill. Um, got a coffee maker back here. We've got our dishes. We also have a microwave back here. Um, room for, room for more dishes and supplies here. Up here is our, our spices. Got a double sink, um, here with filtered water coming, filtered fresh water. And then this is actually extra filtered water for, that we can drink, um, directly from. Down here we have our, our trash can. Another another room here for um, for Tupperwares and and things like that. Uh, back here behind the stove, we've got a few more spaces where we can store some food. Um, our drawers here got room for our silverware and tools for cooking. Good morning. We're gonna make breakfast here in the galley. Um, so wanted to give you an idea of what that process is like. So. Uh, first, I'm going to get our, our pan out, and that's in the basement here. So um, when, we're, when we're at anchor, we, we store things down here so that they don't fly around. So we've got our big pots and pans, and there's a lot of space in here. So I'm going to grab our skillet. Which is, you know... A little bit of a headache getting down on one's hands and knees, but it's not too bad. Um, and then the other thing that we've learned in this very small kitchen is that you want to get everything out that you need first before we start cooking. So I'm going to go into our fridge. This is our fridge here. And um, as you can see, it's just a big open cavern. So we've had to work on our organization scheme to try to um, make this pre a usable fridge for us. So um, I'm going to grab out our breakfast concoction, which is what we usually have for breakfast. Here it is. And maybe some blueberries. And then we put it all back. Let's see. Oh, and I'm gonna get out our. I'm getting out our eggs too. And I think that 
that's all I'm gonna need. I hope so. All right. And now I'm gonna get ready to use our stove. And so that's a little bit of a process. It's a propane stove and we wanna make sure that we're really, really safe with the propane. So we have numerous safety uh, valves and steps that are um, involved in getting it turned on. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. All right, so the first thing that we do is we turn on our propane solenoid. And this, this is going to give that power. So that's an electric device. And so this is our power board um, for power that we get from our battery so or the shore power. So we're going to turn on our gas there. And then we're going to come over here to this little um, device here. And this is the solenoid itself. And that's basically a safety valve that opens and closes the, the propane. So we're going to turn that on because we're going to use the propane. Our propane tanks are out on the deck in, a, in an isolated um, compartment, so that, that's very safe. Brett will show you that when we, when we do the deck tour. So we got that on, and then we, we actually have one more valve down here that actually physically opens the line. And then the last safety step is we, of course, open the window because we're, we're um, going to have an open, open flame burning the the propane so we want that to vent properly so um, now just kind of like a gas stove at home we're gonna turn on that propane and light it here it takes a minute to get it to stay there we go all right so that pan's heating up and we'll put in our our grub Do we have our silverware up there? We do. Okay. And we got our water. Looks delicious. This is our navigation station, but it's also our desk. It's kind of where we do a little bit of work. And um, we have a nice computer desk here. This opens up for more storage underneath. Um, it's also where the main control panel for the electrical system on the boat, the DC electrical system. Um, we have both 12 volt and 24 volt DC on the boat. Um, these switches here are all 12 volt switches. And then from here on over, it's all 24 volts. Um, these are our fuel and water tank um, gauges. And these are diesel heaters. So we have two Webasto diesel heaters, which work extremely well. Um, this is our Starlink, which we've just recently gotten and has been kind of a game changer for staying connected to the internet. Uh, this is the control for our Spectra water maker. And then we have a small chart plotter here, which basically mirrors the chart plotter that's up at the helm station. Action. And continuing the tour of the nav station, this is our Iridium Go exec. This is our other um, form of satellite communication that's much lower bandwidth than Star with, Starlink but is really good and useful in emergency situations. Um, here we have our chest freezer. And as with our refrigerator, it's basically a deep locker and we just fill it right up and it works great as a freezer. Um, and then continuing over here, we have our dehumidifier. And this is something we only use in the winter when we're in the marina. Basically it helps keep the boat humidity low so that we don't get mold and mildew growth and it's actually worked extremely well over this past winter. Okay and then uh, the final most aft cabin is the master cabin. This is where Brett and I uh, sleep and have all of our things. Um, there's actually there's actually room for three people that could sleep back here. Um, one double berth and then a twin berth here so um, there's plenty of space. We have room for some some books and you know we have all our clothing or are, are filling up most of these cabin um, storage areas back here 
Uh, All right, and uh, got some nice lockers that can have room for hanging things. Um, coat hooks. All right, and so this is going to be the master head or master bathroom. It's a little more spacious than the bathroom up front for the guests. Uh, and this is our second toilet. We actually, the front toilet was an electric flush toilet. This one is manual, so if for some reason the power failed, we could still use this toilet. And so uh, to flush it, we, we just pump this little valve and that flushes the toilet. All right. Um, have a separate shower stall here. Uh, with a handheld handheld shower okay. um, sink with uh, plenty of cabinet room for all of our trees and things like this this is a drain pump so actually when when we shower the water will will drain out of the shower stall um, underneath this this floor here it will it will fill that pan with water and so as it fills up we can manually pump it out by just pulling that and that'll pump the shower water overboard. And the final part of our interior boat tour is perhaps one of the most important, the engine room. And you can see for a boat this small, the engine room is actually quite sizable. And what's nice about this large engine room is you can actually climb in here and sit on the exhaust and kind of get your work done. I'll give you a quick tour of what's inside. Starting over here, we have the freshwater pressure tank. Keeps our, our freshwater pressure up and running. That little yellow drum up there is our hot water heater that heats from either um, the shore power or when the engine's running, it'll heat when the engine gets hot. This white box here is our generator. And that's the generator coolant. Up above, we have the diesel heaters. This is the main 110 horsepower diesel engine. Of course, before we start the engine every time, we always check the oil, make sure it looks good. We also have up front these dual Raycor fuel filters to keep the fuel clean as it runs into the engine. This device here is actually a fuel sump pump that allows you to pump some a fuel sample out of the bottom of the fuel tank so you can make sure there's no water or debris accumulating down there. This device right here is actually one of the two autopilot engines. We have a couple of sea strainers. This is for the head and also the anchor washdown pump. And this is the main sea strainer for the engine itself. We always wanna make sure it doesn't get clogged with debris so the engine stays cool. All of the floors come up and underneath are storage for parts tanks, etc. Here in the back bedroom, we have the spot where we keep all of our water maker filters. Um, we keep track of all the spare parts and where they're located on an inventory spreadsheet, and in particular, keep track of the consumables like these water filters so we know when it's time to reorder. Up in the forward part of the boat, uh, underneath the floorboards is the water making equipment or desalinator. This allows us to take the seawater and make it into drinking water uh, using the battery power. So you can see underneath the floor here, there's a variety of filter systems. This black piece is actually the water maker membrane itself, and there's a number of other pre-filters. The project for today is to replace the carbon filter element, uh, which is right here. You can see it's kind of leaking just a little bit, so I'm going to replace it with this new filter housing today. And when the boat chores are done, it's nice to relax and watch a little of March Madness this time of year. Thanks to the miracle of Starlink, we can watch the games uh, when we're in the marina or at anchor.